G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Now today's video guys is a wrestling room update for April 2021. Now this one's wrestling room is going to be a bit different to all the other ones I've done in the past. Now in the past, every wrestling room video has been more in-depth of all the setups and all the animals. Now from basically here on in, I'm going to do the wrestling rooms a bit differently. So in January of every year, you guys get a full rundown of the enclosures, how I've got them set up, how the animals are doing. While from February, uh, March, April, May, all the way to December, a bit of short clips on how the animals are going. Any changes I've made, you guys would, uh, I'll show you guys what I've done. Otherwise, they're just more of a showcase of the animals and how they're looking, how they're going. So you guys are always updated on how the animals are going each month. So guys, I hope you enjoy this little concept. I hope you guys like the idea of doing a shorter video so you guys can watch it. Instead of watching 15, 20 minute long videos at the director room every month, it'd be about maybe five to 10 minutes roughly for this one, hopefully. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let's dive right into this video. Starting off with Monty. For those of you who don't know who Monty is, he's my male Shingerback Skink. Here he is, saying hello. Well, not really. <laughs> he's like me. Doesn't get out of bed till late. His setup hasn't changed. Uh, Blaine, Bone, Bluey. Their setups haven't changed either. There's Blaney. Still shy. Uh, so Blaine is a lowland watch blue tongue. Uh, she's still a bit shy, like I said. But she's slowly gaining confidence, which is good. Next up, we've got Bo, who is my one of three Eastern Blue Tongue Skinks. There he is. Only thing different now, we add a bit of like a plant in there for a bit of enrichment for Blue and Bo. It's just to see how they go. Um, if they don't mind it, we'll keep it in there as well. But you see, it's a bit more of an experiment. Bluey, he's up there. Truck goes by as always, as I'm doing the video. Diablo, where is he now? He's moved. I'll get a photo of Diablo for you guys um, a little later. I'll put it up. You got Salt and Pepper. Here are my two brand up old geckos. So Pepper, he's in this one. There he is. He shed his skin last night. He's looking menacing. Salty, she's in here. There she is. Still looking good, them two. Their setups hasn't changed either. Uh, with the other, I still assist feeding him as well. Uh, his setup hasn't changed. Charcoal and Nicole. Charcoal is behind that stick there, so you can't see him. There's Nicole's girlfriend though, so you get an idea of what they look like. Down below that shelf, we got Akko, who is my female Eastern Water Dragon. There she is. She's not very happy today. Um, something annoyed her. Her setup hasn't changed either. Down here we've got Charles, who's my Albino Darwin Cup Gryphon. You can just see him there. Zoom in. Don't want to disturb him, he's been a bit upset lately. His self hasn't changed. Next door to him we've got Emma, who's the cranky blind spotter python. His self hasn't changed either. He's still good old Emma, trying to bite me every so often. Next to him we've got Superstar and Graham. So there's Superstar there and Graham. Now these girls want to come out today, I'll get them out after the video. Shouldn't see him out and about. Their setup hasn't changed. Above them, we're at Rex, who hasn't changed either his setup. He's still going well. He's lost a bit of weight uh, lately. He hasn't eaten as much. I'm hoping he starts eating again soon. Above him, we've got Bam Bam. He's still good old Bam Bam, just laying around doing nothing all day. His setup hasn't changed either. He's getting old too, so he's not very active. Next up, we've got Crystal, who is the female Pygmy Beer Dragon. There she is. She's a bit dark at the moment. She's not very happy. But her setup hasn't changed either. In this tub for temporary reasons uh, is Billy, who's my third Eastern Blue Tongue Skink. Now her setup is just this for the time being. I'm talking her a proper enclosure. She's growing really, really quick. She's actually a beautiful little blue tongue too. There she is. Now, I do believe Billy's a, blue, uh, Billy's a female, just because of the body shape. Little head, long body, and just, she's going pretty quickly too, which is good. She went from a skinny thing that not many people thought she will make it, to now to that, <laughs> to that where she is now. Next up, we've got this little crazy nut. We've got Ray, who's a Rosenberg Muller. He wants to come out, but if I let him out, he'll make a run for it. He's a funny little dude. Uh, his setup hasn't changed either. Uh, he's still in his three-foot enclosure. Down below, we've got Molly, who is my female jungle carpet python. The only thing different in her enclosure today, guys, is she's got that platform now that she's sitting on. 
Otherwise, everything, everything else is still the same. Uh, she spent the last couple of days sitting on that platform, which is great. That's what I like to see is when I built something, my animals use it. Now, from one crazy nut to this one. Chris here is a black headed python. His setup has already changed. We rearranged it a little bit. Uh, we just swapped the hides from one end to the other. But yeah, he's still doing fine. He's still eating. He's growing still. He's got to be a big black headed python when he's fully grown. Still got a bit of growing to do, don't you, mate? Last two animals, guys. We've got Chappie and Orchid, who are two Centurion Carpet Pythons. Their setup hasn't changed either. So Chappie, the male, he's sitting right there. While Orchid, his girlfriend, he's down there in a the hide. I'll get a shot of her in a moment. Now, when Orchid's in the hide, that usually tells me she's in shed. Because usually she's out and about, or always sitting up there with her boyfriend Chappie. But when she gets in the shed, she goes in a hide. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in another video.